Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be figuring out what happens if you return to the cliff where Micah killed Arthur as John Marston. So this is something a lot of you guys have asked me to explore. We've checked out Arthur's grave with high honor, with low honor. We've been to the gang campsites as John Marston. Uh, once you're in the epilogue and you know you hear those ghost voices. So a lot of you guys wanted me to check out this spot because it is the final time in which we see Arthur alive. And there's a lot of significance that happens on this cliff, as you guys will see. So... That's the first thing I want to do before we can actually talk about the location in Free Roam. Let's talk about what happens in that final mission, Red Dead Redemption. So if Arthur is going to die on this cliff, he needs to help John. He needs to choose to help John get to safety, not return for the money. If Arthur were to return for the money, he would die at the edge of the cave in Beaver Hollow. So essentially what happens is John and Arthur are trying to get the heck out of here and they start sprinting up this hill and they realize they are surrounded by Pinkertons. And this is essentially where Arthur does the selfless act of buying John enough time to escape. All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this, not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. Here. Just take it. It ain't no use to me now. Ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. So once that happens, Arthur essentially fends off the last of the Pinkertons. However, he is surprised by Micah, who ends up tackling him and they sort of have a brawl together. Rats! You rat! I'm a survivor, Black Lung! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! All there is! And losing. Oh, Black Lung. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Yeah, Marcus. Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I won. It is over now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Uh, 
Come on. Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us... No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch! Come on! <laughs> You're not better than me, Morgan. Whatever you say, you fool. Damn you. Damn us both! Okay, so the reason I showed you guys that is so you have a better idea of what happened on this cliff and where it was. And it's pretty easy to find. And now let's actually jump back to Free Roam and check it out there. So it's actually located right on the border between Amberino and New Hanover. So it's not marked anywhere on the map, which is interesting. So basically what you want to look for is O'Cray's Run and Ansberg, and then look for the border. And you're going to go to this exact spot right here. Like, I wish I could describe it a little bit better. Look for the Veterans Homestead, and it's directly to the east of that. So that is where this cliff is marked. And as I told you guys earlier, there's no, like, markings on the map, or and there's nothing significant to show you that this is where it takes place. But this is it, so we can actually climb up. And the reason I wanted to visit this place is I wanted to see what would happen if we came back? Because as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of things that happened if you visit some of the other resting places of the gang in the game. Like for example, if you go to Arthur's grave, his spirit animal will be there and there will be a different sort of looking grave based off of the path you chose. Again, if you go back to a lot of the gang hideouts as John Marston, you'll hear the ghosts of the previous gang members. So I wanted to see what would happen here and unfortunately, nothing like that happened. We didn't see any special markings. I didn't hear any ghost noises or anything like that. Now, in case you guys are wondering, why is Arthur's body not here? Well, we know from one of the epilogue missions that Charles Smith actually returned to this exact spot to actually pick up Arthur's body and to have it buried. So that's why you don't just see a corpse there, obviously, because Charles Smith got word that Arthur had died, and so what he did is he came back to the spot, got the body, and buried him. However, Charles Smith did not leave anything. He didn't leave anything like a memento or something to remember Arthur by at this spot. It is completely empty. It's completely barren. Now, what's interesting is Arthur sort of even foreshadowed his own death. I found this to be kind of interesting. There's a camp conversation you can have where Arthur is talking with Hosea and Lenny, and he describes the exact way he's wanted to be buried. And I guess Charles Smith caught on to that as well. So take a listen to this right here. You know, I'm sorry about Jenny. Sure. Me too. I know you were sweet on her. <laughs> Was it that obvious? <laughs> oh yeah, pretty obvious. I made sure we buried her carefully. I rolled back and planted some flowers she would have liked. Did you? 
Of course. Least I could do. Thank you. Can I go? Apologies, I hope they Mr. Strauss. Cover my grave with roses. <laughs> when I die, I just want to be buried with friends. Mm. Me too. With friends. Or with family. I don't think it matters more than that. What about you, Arthur? Me? I don't care about that nonsense. Come on. Face me to the west so I can watch the setting sun and remember all the fine times we had that way. See, Tilly? I told you Arthur had a soul. So it's crazy the level of detail that Rockstar snuck into this game where he literally just foreshadowed the way he wanted to be buried, which is exactly what Charles Smith did. Now the next thing I wanted to talk about was exactly how Dutch got on this cliff because we know how Micah got here. We actually go to the top and he tackles us and we fall down. But as you guys saw there, Dutch sort of comes from like this backwards route. And I tried to follow the same route that Dutch would have had to take to get up here. And it's extremely tough. Like Dutch would have had to been related to some Assassin's Creed assassins in order to like parkour up this cliff. There's no way he would have been able to do that. So I found that to be kind of interesting the way that he got up without actually running into anyone else. But maybe that's just something that Rockstar overlooked. Now, I didn't see anything during the day, but remember, that cutscene and that encounter happened at night. So what I wanted to do this time was return during the evening. Maybe that would trigger something. And unfortunately, doing that didn't allow us to trigger anything either. And trust me, guys, I stayed here for a long time. Like, I even turned the musical score off, trying to uh, listen to some things, wasn't able to gather anything that way. Um, you know, I, I stood here for a long, long time, and I didn't see anything. I didn't find any rock carvings. There's nothing here that would have indicated that Arthur passed unless you had actually gotten to the final mission of the game. Which again, it, to me, is kind of interesting. I guess what Rockstar did is they put more of a significance on Arthur's gravesite and the existing campsites in game because if you visit as John, specific things will occur there. So unfortunately, I wish I could tell you that more happened when I arrived here, like we saw a spirit of Arthur Morgan or a ghost appeared and he said hello to John or something like that because they did have such a significant event on here. And that's another thing as well. John doesn't say anything either. We've been talking about this perspective from Arthur's side. John doesn't whisper or mummer anything either. And the reason I thought he might is because you guys know that uh, memorial hall that Arthur donates to in Saint Denis. If John runs across that in the epilogue, he'll actually, you know, say, "Hey, you know, my old friend Arthur Morgan." So I would have thought he could have potentially said something at this cliff, but uh, unfortunately, nothing happened. So, anyways, that is what happens if you return to the cliff where Arthur. Uh, fought Micah as John Marston. You also might not have known where it was, like I said, because the, the game really doesn't tell you. And if you want to visit here and pay your respects, now you can. Uh, but anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.